Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this guy right here. So, one of the things that I've done, if you haven't noticed in some of my past videos with some of the cards up there and links below, I've set up a curated page of 3D print cleanup tools. So, because one of the things when I got into 3D printing, it was kind of a little bit of a mystery of how do you clean up all this stuff and some of the tools. And I think I'm going to probably do a little bit of a video on that coming up here. Uh, however, I want to do a little bit of an unboxing of this because I've just come across this and I've added this to the list. So now I'll have this 3D printed tool list down below uh, for cleanup tools down below. And I'll also probably have a card up in the corner as this video runs. So if you're interested, check it out. Also, check it out on a regular basis because I update it as I find new things. So, you know, it's curated. So I look at it and, you know, usually I have it or something like that. But anyways, I want to get into this guy because what happened is I, you know, I've seen on a couple of these um, YouTube commercial channels, if you will, uh, you know, tools, you know, heated tools to clean up 3D printed projects and, and I, I wanted to get one because especially working with TPU or uh, PEG uh, you know th those are a little bit difficult to break apart you know even with good slicing and everything else and, and they tend to sometimes especially if they're involved in a thin walled project break so anyways I thought something like this would be a good idea but the price of it was like 77 bucks and like 77 bucks for basically a cordless soldering iron nah ain't gonna happen but for 35 bucks eh, it could be a different story now i do still consider 35 maybe a little bit on the high side for this and that's about what this was i got this off of amazon link will be down below plus this will be on the um, 3d tool list is, is this um Modify 3D print finishing tool. So basically what it is is a heated tool and it charges by USB so I really like that fact. Um, and it's got rapid heat up 15 seconds, cool down 30 seconds, touch switch, indicator light would be USB powered, big plus, simple easy to use, lightweight compact, stand included, yes, I guess. Um, and again, it says, before using, I should visit this site for more information. Now, this comes with three different tips. So, uh, I think it comes with maybe four different tips. So, I got a knife tip, needle tip, point tip. I wonder what the difference is between that. And a scoop tip. So, there's four tips. Sorry, I lied. Four tips. Not three, but four. So, biggest thing I bought it for is the knife tip. Um, that's what I really want to use it for. I don't know the longevity of this, uh, of the knife tip, nor the device itself. I'm sure it, you know, like any cordless soldering iron, it has a life. So we'll have to see what that, that works out to be. But let's go ahead and liberate this from its overly plastic packaging. Ooh, pretty. So we move the, uh, tricolored insert. We have the infamous stand, like wow, that's pretty interesting though, kind of simplistic. And then we have the charger, again very simplistic. Um, here's the end, it's sort of like a 3.5 millimeter phono plug. Wish it was micro USB, uh, that way I didn't have to save this cable or have another one of these cables laying around. But is what it is for the time being, just so you know, it is a f more of a phonotype cable. So don't go ahead plugging this into your iPod and this into your computer. I think bad things will happen. Uh, so let's pop this out. And uh, looks like surg some sort of surgical instrument, um, kind of translucent uh, body here. The battery on this thing can't be too big because you can kind of see in there, and I'm not sure... Or does this have to be plugged in for USB power for it to work? I'm thinking that may be what, what has to happen is, whoops, I'm going to try plugging that in. That's not going to work. I don't think there's a battery in here. I think this has to be plugged into USB to work. Well, uh, I guess maybe that's why it says go go see here. But you guys know I don't read instructions. Health instructions. Um, and here are tips. Here's our real pointy tip. Here's our knife, which is bent a little bit. I guess it's supposed to be bent because it's pretty sturdy. And the scoop. I wonder what the scoop is. Do you guys have one of these? You use the scoop? I don't know. I want the knife piece. So let me go check a thing or two. Okay, so it does require being connected to USB power source. So I've plugged it into my 10,000 milliamp year per hour 2.1 amp socket here. And uh, 
One of the things, it seems that this is touch sensitive, so when you touch it, the heat up is actually pretty good, and uh, this does a very nice job on PLA. And I could definitely see using some of these tips, especially to clean up holes or to, uh, uh, you know, where you have a malformed hole where this would be very handy. Um, so this, uh, this actually, but you do get a bit of smoke. Now, I'll warn you about that, but I think you kind of, if you take a soldering iron to uh, plastic, I mean, you're going to get something like that. But now I'm using the very fine point tip, and this is, this is actually allows for some very interesting work. So again, you know, if you had some problems inside here, you could definitely clean them up. You know, like I have this hole here, I could definitely clean this hole up here. And again, by touching this, it seems to be touch sensitive, this little ball here. Uh, it turns it on and off. And it does heat up and cool down rather quick. Uh, you know, but again, be careful with it. So I find this very interesting. Now, unfortunately, off camera, I the um, the other piece, the knife edge. What I really wanted, uh, and actually, I should talk about this other piece, uh, is was is broken or was broken because, as I mentioned before, it was kind of uh, bent back this way. So I took it out. It was uh, it was actually cracked. So I'm gonna write and see if I can get a new one. Um, the other pieces, though, uh, too, when this came out, it left this collar inside here. And I believe what happens is the the ends are actually what are electrically resistive, this, these ends. And so what happens, because when I first was trying to get it to work, I didn't have this collar on. But I believe that's how it actually works, is you see this core here, then you have this collar, then this tightens down. And then what happens is this piece actually gets resistively hot um, from the current. Because it looks like there's some kind of maybe voltage step down, current step up circuit in here. There's some kind of circuit in here. Looks like with a, um, maybe some sort of capacitor, some other stuff in there. Uh, hard to tell. Maybe I'll take it apart and see what's in there. Uh, I think it's actually a pretty interesting tool for um, uh, $35. Now, the interesting piece is, the more I've been playing with it, I played with this a little bit off camera before I came back on, is I th also think for, because I want this to remove um, uh, supports, and I actually think that this this tip, this very fine point tip, will do a nice job of that also, because as you see here, I actually cut this this piece inside here with it, just by running it along the inside, so I think for um, actually um, you know, removing support material, this will actually work pretty good. So I'm excited about it for 35 bucks. Um, and again, if you have, um, you know, USB power at your bench or one of these big power supplies, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, just easy because this is what I've done and this is how I plan on probably using it. I also have USB power here, so I may have to use an extension or decide to use an extension. But I'm going to mess around with it. And I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to write them. I bought this through uh, Amazon, so I'm going to write them, see if they'll send me another uh, one of these. It would also be very interesting is if I could purchase additional replacement tips. You know, because you can see this is already becoming oxidized from the heat. So I'm sure that there's a particular life for the tips, but the, you know, base unit itself should last for, you know, a long, long time. So I'm excited about this. Um... Especially as I'm working with more filaments like nylon, PET G, you know, ones that are a little bit harder to break apart the supports. I think this will be a great addition to the tool bin. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Links for all this will be below. Don't forget the uh, curated 3D print cleanup tool list. I'll be doing more on in the future. Uh, Swag Shop will be up there. Subscribe over there. I know you haven't subscribed yet, so please hit that button. Hit me up in the comments below. See you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.